Hello, my name's Angra Vells and this is a short video about how I became an author with Learning Matters, who are now part of Sage Publications Limited. I've written quite a few textbooks over the years and so this short video will just tell you a little bit about how I got into it. Quite a few years ago I was working for a large awarding organisation developing a new qualification for teachers. I'd been teaching for many years myself and I was researching for the qualification handbook which textbooks to put on the reading list and I felt that what was currently available was too high a level for this new level of qualification which was at level three for beginners and so I thought well why not do it myself so I had the idea contacted the publishing company and they said right put a proposal together and they accepted and said how quick can you do it the content really is based on what teachers need to know and my passion really is about the beginner teacher and I follow mainly in the awarding education training and preparing to teach in the lifelong learning sector often called PEDLS or PEDLS I follow what's called the teaching, learning and assessment cycle and there's a few more short videos you might look at which refer to those it's a logical flow of how teaching actually occurs and how learning and assessment take place. The content's also based on the qualification requirements. Each book I write is linked to a qualification for teachers or assessors and so I have to take what's already out there and turn it into a way that can be legible and easily readable for a new teacher. Right, my favourite part of the passing series it's really related to the last chapter, which is all about the micro session. I think most trainee teachers are quite apprehensive about taking the micro teach. They're unsure what to deliver or how to do it. And again, I've got another short video about the micro teach, which you might like to look at. But my favourite parts of the other textbooks, in fact, all of them, are the way that the books are put together. Just to show you an example. There's lots of tables and pictures, little activities and little examples. There's bullet lists. And so you're not inundated with a lot of theory. The book gives you lots of ideas of how to put theory into practice and breaks down very difficult concepts into something that's quite easy to understand. I think the uniqueness is the way that I write them. I didn't really realise that I had a good writing style that was easy for people to read. And I write in such a way as though I'm kind of having a conversation with the reader. And anyone new to teaching can read a little bit and then think, oh yeah, I understand that now. Whereas perhaps when they've read it previously, it was a little bit complicated and they couldn't comprehend it. I think the hardest part for me is self-motivation. Because I mainly work from home, I have an office there. I could easily be distracted, particularly if it's a lovely day outside and I'm stuck in my office writing, knowing I've got a deadline coming up. But once I get sat down and I've got an idea in my head, I can work really well and work long hours to get everything done. And I actually enjoy writing. The best thing is the amount of emails and correspondence I get from people who have read the books mainly learners who are taking the qualification, who are so pleased that they've passed as a result of the information they've gained from my textbooks. I'm also quite active on social media and I get a lot of comments through Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn from people who are absolutely thrilled at, at the level of the book because it's helped them so much as an absolute beginner. I think they're good value for money. They're very reasonably priced. They're not too heavy. They're easy to look at and ideal as a reference, so you don't have to read the whole book. You can just go to the index in the back and choose a topic that you're working on at the time and then go to the relevant page and find the information that you need. And I think they're a valuable reference source for life, really. Once you've finished with it for your qualification, just stick it on your bookshelf and then refer to it when you need to. I'm currently working on two books similar to the award in education training but they're for the certificates in education and training. Thank you for listening to this video. If you want to contact me, my details will be coming up at the end. And I wish you all the best with your studies. Thank you.